there enough water to share? That's what people are asking after Nestle announced plans for a water bottling plant right here in Phoenix. Yeah, another big question people have, is this trade-off really worth it? ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez is live from the future side of that plant near 43rd Avenue in Buckeye. And Allison, we know it's going to bring jobs, but how many? Well, it's going to come in phases, but the first phase is going to see about 40 to 50 new jobs bustling right here at the plant's new site, where they are going to bottle 274 million of these guys right here, bottles of water. And while city officials are excited about it, some are saying not so fast. Most of these bottles don't end up being recycled. Sandy Barr is sick and tired of seeing this, empty water bottles littered on streets. She says it's the last thing we need more of, which is why she is not thrilled with Nestle's new plans for a bottled water plant. It just really doesn't make sense to have a water bottling plant in one of the driest cities in the country. Phoenix and most of Arizona are under a moderate drought, but city water officials say there's plenty to go around. We have been planning for drought, for shortages, for um, all of these contingencies literally for decades. Phoenix Water Services Director Katherine Sorensen says the city uses about half of its water supply and around two-thirds of the Colorado River supply, so the plant won't make a significant dent. But there are talks that by 2018, there's a chance Arizona will have to reduce its share from the Colorado River. It's been a concerted effort to downplay water concerns. What it will do is add up to 50 jobs to this area and potentially even more over time. For every job you create, you create an additional three to five jobs depending on the manufacturing scale. Nestle officials say the plant will bottle 35 million gallons of water its first year, enough to fill 53 Olympic sized swimming pools. And since demand in the city is high, plans show no signs of slowing down. Now, city officials say they are open to hearing your concerns from the public and that you can reach them online. This plant is scheduled to open next year. Reporting live in Phoenix, Allison Rodriguez, ABC 15.